Well, hello there, my fellow Sanders. Welcome back to my channel to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, in this video, I'll be showing you how you could easily obtain and craft Formula P in Fallout 76 as of 2022. So, before we start, make sure that you're sub, the notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start this video. So, the Formula P sadly does not have any physical spawns in Fallout 76, and you cannot buy a physical copy of Formula P from any in-game vendor. The only way that you could purchase a physical Formula P is by buying it from another player. However, the Formula P plan, again like the Formula P itself, does not have any physical spawns in-game. You cannot purchase it from any in-game vendor. You could only obtain it from the event Project Paradise. Now, the good thing about this is that Formula P is one of the more common rewards for finishing Project Paradise. You have about a 14 all the way up to 19% chance to obtain the Formula P recipe for completing the event Project Paradise based on how many animals survive in the end. So that is your only way of getting it. Now if you don't have the time to go for the recipe, you could text me in my discord server and I could craft a few of them I'm giving to you for free. So as you could see, this is the Formula P. Now let us talk about how you could obtain the materials required to craft Formula P. Now before anything, make sure that you have the chemist perk equipped because this will give you double the amount of any chems that you craft. So a Formula P requires antiseptics, ash rose, blood leaf and kaleidopore flowers. So antiseptic is a material and it's not that hard to find but as shows blood leaf and collide upper flowers, I will show you how you can obtain a decent amount of each one. So let us start with ash roses. Again, make sure that you have the green thumb perk equipped because this will double anything that you harvest. So for farming ash roses, you want to fast travel here to Silva Homestead. It's here on the map. You want to go ahead and fast travel there. Although, if you're quite far from it like I am, you could first fast travel to the foundation and then fast travel from the foundation to the home silver. Because this way you will use less gaps fast traveling. So let us go ahead and travel there. And when you fast travel, the game will spawn you here. So what you need to do is you want to follow this road until you reach here. As you can see, there's like a little wooden shack here. You want to go here. As you can see, this is the first ash rose. This is the second ash rose. There's two here. Next, you want to follow this road until you reach that house over there. Again, just keep on going, keep on going. And here, you want to turn left. Again, you want to kind of go here behind this house. As you can see, this is a workshop. Here, this is the third and the fourth ash rose. So this is kind of the easiest place that you could get a decent amount of ash rose. There might be a few ghouls in the area, but this is by far the easiest place to get a decent amount of ash rose. But so far, this is the easiest location to farm a decent amount of ash rose. Next, let's talk about how you could obtain a decent amount of blood leaves. So for that, you want to fast travel here to the waiver. Again, like before, you could first fast travel to Vault 76 because it's free and then fast travel to the Wayward. From there to use less caps, fast traveling. So let us go ahead and fast travel there. And when we fast travel, the game will spawn us here. So what you need to do is you wanna look this way and keep on going this way. You wanna turn here until you reach this bridge. Next, you want to head down here, and this is your first blood leaf. So this place is filled with blood leaves around this river. Let me show you a few of them. Kind of want to pick this up, hit this way. Again, there's more here, more here. more here you kind of want to pick him up and keep on going up until you have enough there is a lot of blood leaf in this place and it's quite easy just want to go up this river this side and the other side it's full of blood leaves next 
Let's talk about the Kaleidopore flower. So the only location that you could obtain Kaleidopore flower at is here, the Arctos Pharma. Let us go ahead and fast travel there. And when you fast travel, the game will spawn us here. So what we need to do is you kind of want to follow where I'm going towards this white building until you reach here, this door. This is usually closed, you need to open it. As you can see, this is the receptionist desk. You wanna come here, there's an elevator. You wanna enter it and go down to the bottom lab. And in here, obviously you wanna open the elevator and you wanna follow where I'm going, down these stairs, through this room, and enter this place. As you can see, this is the first big main area. There are a lot of different plants in here that you could look around and pick up but we don't care about them as you can see there's some blood leaf here but you want to follow where i'm going again here jump here until you reach this area you want to enter this place as you could see these shiny flowers these are the colloidopore flowers so you want to pick up as many of these as you like there are 29 of these in this place. You could pick up as many of them as you like, that's up to you. There's also blood leaf and I believe some astros in the area if you want to look around for them. I haven't found the astros yet, but I just showed you where the blood leaf is. Well, you want to be careful. This is a high level area with high level monsters, so make sure that you come here prepared. So when you picked up enough Clydeopor flowers, obviously you want to go ahead and fast travel back to your camp. Something else that I recommend you having before crafting the Formula P itself is having the super duper perk equipped as this will give you a 30% chance to double anything that you're crafting. So if you're crafting it in big quantities, you could potentially get a few more Formula P's for free. So now let us go ahead and craft a few formula piece. So as you can see, we have all the ingredients. So let us go ahead and craft four formula peas. Let's see how many did we get. As you could see, we crafted four formula peas, which then double that is eight plus one from the super duper perk. So in total, we got nine formula peas. But guys, like I said before, if you don't have the plan for it or any of the ingredients required to craft Formula P, you could go down there, join my Discord server, text me there and I could craft one of these for you for free. So yeah guys, that will be it for this video. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comment section or join my Discord server, link in the description. And I will catch you on our next video. Take care.